So I took some time off work because I wanted to focus on my master thesis. I'm currently finishing my master's degree and I'm only missing my thesis. It's really hard to concentrate on that after work so I just did decided to take some unpaid leave. And of course, right the day after I left work, so the day after I I got my unpaid vacation. I got super super sick. So I am still a little bit sick. I'm on antibiotics and I cannot leave the house. So the only thing I, <laughs> I can cope with this is to eat. I'm writing a little bit on my thesis but other than that I'm basically just eating and sleeping and watching tea. I also can't sleep that well because I am quite sick so I thought I'd try some Asian snacks that my boyfriend brought back from Malaysia because why not? I honestly don't know what most of those sweets are but let's try this first. It says marshmallow and it looks like grape flavor. Looks pretty cute. I think it's a Japanese one. So let's try it. What I really hate about Asian candies is that they always like double or triple wrap everything in plastic. It's really a marshmallow. Looks so cute. Great flavor though. Like, is it filled? There's almost like no filling. Tastes like a marshmallow, but also very artificial. But I like marshmallows. Okay, so next up we have this one. Also like super cute. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it looks like a gummy bear. I bet it's like tomato flavor. Oh, it's very soft. I don't know. So the outside gummy bear it doesn't have any flavor, I think, and the inside tastes kind of like cough syrup, but you know the good one? <laughs> okay, now I have this. This is obviously lychee flavor, but I also have no idea what this is. Maybe it's like pudding or something. Oh yeah, it looks like jello. <laughs> you know the video where, where the two girls sit in the car and then they try to drink this and then it gets stuck in their throat. I'm a little scared now. Oh, oh, it's juicy. It is jello and it is lychee flavored, but somehow it tastes exactly like the fruit. Oh, this is the next one. I know what this is. This is a rice cracker with seaweed. Oh, I love these. These are very nice. Good. Okay, so the next one is this one called Snack Me. <laughs> you need to break it. Let's put the powder in. Okay. It's okay, I guess. I prefer chips. So I also have this. Uh, we brought this the last time already because it looked cute, cute, but we gave all of them to my friends. I, I didn't even try it. I, I already noticed this the last time, but it's like a cookie and it's very cute. But it smells like perfume. Not like... I don't know how to explain it. It, it doesn't smell unappetizing, like, like perfume in an unappetizing way. But I don't know. I think... I don't know. Kind of smells like perfume. Can you excuse you? It's so very, very soft. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, so. <laughs> it's quite good. But again, this is so much plastic. So, I mean, why do you package all of these individually? The last thing I have is this one. I actually also have this in Germany. It reminds me of, of my childhood. I bet you know this, this kind of like a gummy bear burger. I love these. They're so good. Yay. This is good. Very good. Okay, so I think my favorite thing is are these favorite things. Hello. Stop! Stop! <laughs> yeah, go, go, go! <laughs> we need to hold it for you. When is it good? Is it good? Everybody, we're in Cologne or Bonn and we're here for carnival. I'm, I'm so excited to be here. I've come to London and the next day we headed straight to Bonn. So I just did my makeup and I'm gonna put my costume on and we're going to the parade. And today I think we're gonna do the small parade and then on Monday it's called Rosenmontag we're doing the big parade, parade in Cologne and today we're just gonna stay at we're currently at my uncle's place and we're just gonna stay here in this uh, town and we're gonna watch the parade here with my uncle let's see what's going to happen I'm super excited to be here in the past I could never go because I always had my exams but we're finally here so excited let's go <laughs>
study. I didn't go to the gym for almost a month. I also didn't go to hockey. I was sick for like two and a half weeks and then I was on holiday one week and then I came back and I went to the gym once with my friend who's now on holiday. And yesterday when I wanted to go, I had a panic attack and I cried for three hours and then I couldn't go anymore and I felt like shit. But today I still don't want to go, but I'm going to spinning. It's my first time in like five years, I think. And I really don't want to, but I know if I just get into it and just go to the gym for two days, I will feel so much better. And also my like panic attacks and anxiety and sleep will get better. So let's go. Oh my god, something very, very bad just happened to me. My phone doesn't turn on anymore and this might seem like I'm overreacting, but without my phone I can literally not do anything. I can't use the train, I can't go to the gym, I can't listen to music, I don't know where to go even in my own city and I just need my phone. So I'm gonna get dressed and go to the Apple store and try to get this fixed. I don't know what's wrong, this literally has never happened to me and I can't think of one thing I did wrong with this phone and I just don't understand. I hope they can fix it really quickly. Oh my god, this is so bad. Okay, I have a very basic outfit on. I'm just wearing this black pullover and this black tights because I just got a super exciting package. So I uh, did a sleeper order um, and actually I ordered three things. I ordered like a top and bottom set, I ordered a dress and I ordered some shoes and there's a package which just arrived and I had a look inside already and it's just the shoes but I want to see if I can try to style them because I actually wanted the shoes in another color but they were sold out already so I wanted to see if they were comfortable and cute and maybe this color is also nice for me so let's just try them on and try to put an outfit together also somehow I've never had an expensive brand who didn't give me like a shoebox but look at them, they're so cute some people might not like these shoes but I think they could be very cute and very cool like spice up your outfits a little so this is them, they're like this teddy fur and then they have like a little pom pom here so these are the shoes, I think they're really cute they kind of remind me of Asian style, like Korean style and the problem I have with flats most of the time is that they look so huge on me that they look like kind of like oats but I think because they're like boxy in the front it kind of looks nice so let me finish my outfit and then I'll see you again. Okay, so this is the outfit. I put another pullover on top because it's very, very cold outside. And then I have my uncle's coat and then still wearing just the leggings. And then I don't know if I want to... I actually want to wear them like this, but I feel like it's too cold. So I might have to wear it with socks. But I don't like it with socks so much. I mean, it's still... It's still okay, but I feel like without it's cooler. Oh wait, I have one more thing I want to show you because it's so cool and it's so nice and I found it on eBay and it's such a cool fashion piece and I'm so proud I found it so I want to show you. Okay, how do you like this? So this is a puffer hood. I actually found it on eBay. It's from some China shop and it's probably very badly produced and everything, but it's just so cool. I saw Hot Smile had one and Canadian Goose and I wanted to buy one of these but they were over like 200 euros. So I got this and it's actually super warm and super nice and it also makes, for me, it looks better than a balaclava. So yeah, I'm just gonna put my iPad in my bag so I can listen to music in the subway. And then I'm gonna go to Apple store and hopefully my phone can be fixed, so let's go. Hi everybody, it is two days later. My phone is working again. Um, I went there twice, I got sent home once, I uh, went there another time with an appointment. And um, I waited for half an hour 
and then he just turned my phone on and it worked which was great I mean it doesn't didn't have to get repaired but um, honestly I was so mad because I tried exactly what he did what like one million times of course and for me it didn't work but of course for him then it worked so anyway it is two days later i had a hockey game yesterday um we won and we got this pineapple <laughs> which was very cute but yeah i'm just sitting here in my dressing gown because the boyfriend is sleeping upstairs and i need to dress up but i don't know as what yet because today we're doing a crime dinner and I don't know which role I'm gonna play because I didn't have a look into my booklet. So let's do that right now. I just realized I left it upstairs. So let me get that real quick. Then we'll read it together and then I will dress up as the character. Okay, I'm back and um, Dora Galore Price. This is what they look like. And yeah, let me read it real quick. Then I tell you what it says in here and then I'll see you later when I'm already and I'm wearing my stuff. Um, we invited my whole family. We're gonna be six people, and I already decorated the table a little bit. It looks a little bit like Valentine's Day, but I didn't want to buy anything because we're saving for Japan, which we're going in one month. So excited! But yeah, let me show you the table real quick. So. <laughs> I got this rose from work, then I got my orchid, and then I got these orchids from my mom. And yeah, then I have just have these little hearts which I did, and then yeah, that's what the table looks like right now. And we're gonna make um, kimchi jjigae because we didn't have we didn't have so much time to go grocery shopping, and then. We're just, and then we're just doing a three courses meal, so we're going to do spring rolls, um, kimchi jjigae, and then we're gonna do mochi ice cream and pineapple. So yeah, I'm gonna read my book good now. So if you want to play this, maybe don't listen. So it, the brand is Culinaro Mortale and I just got this on the internet. It is available in a lot of different languages. So maybe if you want to buy this or if you want to play this, um, maybe skip this part. But there's also a lot of other stories here. So apparently we're in New York 1962 and we're celebrating the opening of the Hotel and it is opened by Frederick Price, uh, which who is married to Dora Galore, uh, an actress. I, I think that's me. <laughs> and then, so during the opening process of the hotel, this young, this other young actress, Monique Moreau, is um, murdered. So this is. All I know until now. We also have a little like map of the hotel here. I don't know if you can see. I don't know if that um, is gonna be um, important or not. I hope this is gonna be a lot of fun and I'm a little scared that my mom will blurt out what, what or who or if she's the writer or not in the first second but <laughs> I hope she won't so I'm so excited.
boys. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. How do you feel me from across the room? I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. Living my so we're done playing. Um, we found a murderer and it was so much fun. I think, I don't know if I said this before or not, but the game was like 25 years, I think. And I definitely would recommend buying. I think I will give it to my family or someone else who can still play it. And I am definitely gonna get another one for like next Christmas or family. Um, gathering or something because that was so cool and so much fun and I really love that my brothers dress up um, I also wanted to dress up but then I got so stressed because I had to cook and prepare and everything but um, yeah I'm definitely gonna do this again that was super much fun and yeah I think I'll end this vlog here because I think it's quite long already so I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye!